Hey everybody, this is Nathan Zavalny from the Child Bloom Guitar Program and Missoula Guitar Academy. And I want to show you today a simple guitar accompaniment for the Beatles song, Let It Be. Now this is something that could be played to sing with, accompanying another singer or another instrument playing the melody. And it's going to be a very simplified finger style version. So this is for those of you that are just beginning to work on chord accompaniment using finger style playing. We need four chord shapes for this. Very simple. We'll have a C chord, a G chord, A minor, and F. And all of these will be four note versions of these chords. And on my right hand, I will be playing thumb, index, middle, ring. And for those of you that have been studying technique, this is with free strokes, which allows me to keep the notes ringing. And then on my left hand, I'm going to use only the strings that I'm actually playing frets on. So oftentimes for a C chord, you'll see this string 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But in this case, we are going to simplify and just use string 5, fret 3, 3 open, 2, 1, 1 open. The G chord, string 6, all I need to do is hop finger 3 to string 6. String 4 open, 3 open, 2 open. A minor, I'll play string 5 open, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1 open. F, I can actually leave those fingers there and I add finger 3 to string 4, fret 3, and 3, 2, 2, 1. And then in this pattern, I'll go back to string 3. The other patterns I'm moving across four strings. This one I'll just do thumb, index, middle, index. Just to simplify. Now I could do a, a little more challenging version and use finger one to hold down string one and two. But I would recommend starting with this just to get used to the three finger pattern. So the next step is to learn the progression of these arpeggios. And if you haven't heard that term before, arpeggio is a word that means broken chord. It's an Italian word. So instead of playing the notes together or strumming across, I'm playing those strings one at a time. In the link for the video, the description, there'll be a link to sheet music for this that will be in notation and tablature. I'll play through the basic progression for you. And one thing I want you to notice is I'm not putting all the fingers down at one time. So in the C chord, I put my third finger down then my first finger. I've got lots of time to get ready, so this is great for working on transitions between chords. So I start with that third finger, string three, open, then I add my first finger, then open. So just notice that as I go through the chords, how I transition. So here's the full progression. C, G, A minor, F, back to the C, G, then I'll go to F, and back to C. So that's the verse. I repeat that, C, G, A minor, F, C, G, F, then back to C. Now the chorus starts on A minor, Stay on C again, G, F, C. So a couple things to notice with the transition. So I'm going from the C to the G. All I need to do is let go with my first finger, hop my third finger. When I go to the A minor, I'm going to put my second finger down, but I have time to get there. I have my string five open, then second finger, then first finger. If I'm going from A minor to F, which I do in the verse, I can leave finger one and two and just add finger three. And often the F leads to the C. In that case, all I need to do, I'm going to let go with finger two, keep finger one, hop finger three to string five. So if I'm here, finger three, two, one, I just let go with these two fingers, hop string to string five with finger three. 
So those transitions can be fairly easy if you just think about the step-by-step, -step, how do you get to here? Originally, this was on piano, but I think it works quite well with guitar. Now, I could get more complicated and do something closer to the piano. Something like that. But this is a great starting place and works really well for playing in an accompaniment with voice or other melody instruments. I will link the music and that sheet music also has the melody on it so it can make a great duet with another guitar player or work on singing it yourself. So enjoy this and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if, if you'd like more tutorials and I would love it if you would like the video that helps me out a lot. So enjoy! Mm -hmm.